My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for the movie The Trip. And I didn't know much about this movie going into it, but what I did know is that this movie is directed by Tommy Wokola, who is a director I've always enjoyed. He directed the two Dead Snow movies. I've only seen the first one and I enjoyed that movie. He also directed Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which is a movie that I think is so underrated. That movie got terrible reviews, but it is so much fun. He also uh, directed a movie called Seven Sisters, but I haven't seen that one yet. But from what I've seen of him, I like him. And I was curious to see what this movie was about. I'm not going to talk about the plot all too much because it's one of those movies that's better off if you don't know much about it going into it. At a certain point, you'll figure out that it's all it's one of these kind of movies. But I think it's a good one of those kind of movies. But the basic premise that I will give is that there's a husband and a wife who are clearly going through some difficult times who decide to go out to a cabin for a weekend together and stuff happens there. Uh, the plot itself, once you realize what's going on, is pretty insane and I love the fact that this movie embraces that and it has three very distinct acts from each other and each one stands out in their own way while each benefiting off the last. So just together, this movie is just something really unique. Like I said, it is a certain subgenre of movie but it has enough craziness to it that allows this movie to stand out as its own thing. The performances are quite good in this movie. The husband's played by Axel Heine and I thought he was the weak spot in this movie. I just wish he had a bit more personality, but he does a fine enough job at what the movie needed him to do. The wife is played by Nomi Rapace, who I thought was fantastic in this movie. And one of the other supporting characters who I thought was really good was Al Arturusin. I hope I pronounced that name properly, but he was good in the movie as well. This is a well-directed movie. This movie's trying to walk a tight warp of so many different tones throughout. Like, there are some moments that do go into some very dark places, and then there's also some moments that try to be funny, and then there's some moments that are just bloody in the most awesome of ways, and it's constantly walking between these three different tones throughout, and I think the movie did a really fantastic job at it. So kudos to Tommy Wokola because he did do a good job directing this movie. He establishes the tension between the husband and the wife so perfectly. Like every word, every action, you can just tell that these two characters get on each other's nerves. And the direction they take this relationship, I thought was surprisingly sweet and heartfelt. I was not expecting that. This movie also has some incredibly brutal moments that I just freaking love. Like there are moments in this movie that are really intense and just really bloody and brutal and awesome and just fantastic, like really great stuff. My only real complaint with this movie is that there's one character who comes in a bit too late and I really don't like how this character was treated and there's also one moment, I believe it's called a Deus Ex Machina, and it's pretty much where a character is in serious danger and then something out of nowhere saves his life. And I've never found that kind of story device to be effective. I've always just hated it. And also I do want to say that this movie feels like it's wrapping up, but there's like another five minutes and I kind of loved the last five minutes. I just thought it was a really unique way to end this movie and it kind of had something to say in those last five minutes and it totally caught me off guard. Um, some people could be like, oh I wish the movie wrapped up five minutes earlier, but I really dug the ending of this movie. But yeah, I had a great time with this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun, the characters were well established, the performances for the most part are really good, especially Nomi Rapace, she's just fantastic in this movie. It's bloody, it's brutal, it's intense, it's funny, it's an awesome time. I had a blast watching this movie, I can't recommend it enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and give The Trip a 7.5 out of 10. This is one movie that you should definitely take a trip to go see. Not my best work, but I still stand by it. But anyways, have you seen The Trip? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.